Hey guys and gals, this is Blake Morrow. You are listening to the daily roundup webinar. I hope everybody's having a great trading session. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up. You might see this move in the uh, the dollar Mexican peso. We're making our, our way lower towards, um, in my opinion, some pretty important support down here at 1995. I actually think it might break. It's a 50% retracement, but um, if, if let me explain to you the reason why it's moving. Um, there was some legislation in Mexico that was um, going to allow Banksico to take deposits of, um, of uh, pot excuse me, potentially of um, illegal drug money. And so, uh, the, you know, one of the reasons why the dollar Mexican peso was weak is because th they thought that this, this legislation might actually go through. Well, uh, um, uh, banks, banks, or uh, the um, the the Mexican legislators ruled against it. Said the banks that goes against it because it would have really hurt um, the credit worthiness of uh, banks ago and and um, you know and Mexican credit as a whole. So the peso was actually you know, kind of weak going into this morning, but, it, but obviously it, 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 it got denied. And so the peso is strengthening, which could allow for the dollar Mexican peso to revisit, you know, down here, all the way down towards, you know, this 1990, uh, maybe even 1980 um, level. In my opinion, we could, we could actually drop like this before bouncing. And, and it really depends on equities. But right now, equities continue to drift higher a little bit. And one of the reasons why the equity markets are moving higher is a, you know, it's end of year. So it's th things are quiet. So the market's just kind of drifting. Um, there is some news out that, um, that the UK EU uh, quietly are starting to uh, they're getting more excited and looks like there might be an agreement. And so the pound is actually up. It's spiked up, which is a bummer because I sold it. My, my little bit that I had, I sold it in the eighties this morning and all of a sudden it just poop through the highs. Um, I would expect that dips are going to be very well supported in the pound. Now uh, there is a lot of chatter that deals not going to get done tonight. So, I mean, we could obviously uh, still dip here, but, Dips are probably going to be bought. Um, it, the euro bounced back. It was looked like it was going to sell off and it bounced back this morning. I still am going to try to buy the euro as close to 121 as possible. What I'm hoping for is a move like that. That's that's what I'm actually hoping for. Just because I hope it happens doesn't mean it's going to happen. I'm just hoping that we can get down there again. Um Dollar Canadian has slipped back down towards, you know, the this big 161% extension. You guys know where it's at. It's this uh, 127.30, you know, this D point right here, right? We're still there. I mean, we're bouncing back and forth. I, I actually bought some this morning at uh, 127.50. I'm not comfortable with it, but I still own it. It's, you know, you know, if it gets back to the 60 or 70 level, I'll probably just get out of it. I, I thought it might actually show um, some strength this morning because equities were under some pressure. But with equities coming back up, the dollar Mexican peso or dollar Mexican peso, sorry, dollar Canadian stayed relatively heavy. Uh, I think our focus still has to be on selling rallies in the dollar. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that the dollar index will get We'll muster a little bit of a rally here. Uh, maybe we see that euro back to 121 before we can sell the dollar again. But with this positivity, positivity out of uh, out of the UK, uh, maybe it's going to be a little bit more difficult for that to happen. We'll see. Uh, the Aussie and the Kiwi they were trading a little heavier this morning, but they've they've bounced back. I'd love to buy the Kiwi at 70 cents, but you know, I, I, that might be a little too optimistic. The Aussie, I'd love to buy down here at, you know, 7450. That might be really optimistic because let's face it, the dollar is not selling off right now. The dollar continues to, uh, or I, let me take that back. The dollar is not rallying. It continues to trade very heavy. So I'm hoping that the dollar will bounce a little bit. It just, it's looking, 
you know, more and more unlikely as we, we, uh, you know, we go, you know, throughout the course, the next, you know, well, throughout today, but, you know, as we approach the FOMC, I keep thinking that the dollar might bounce ahead of the FOMC, but I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's becoming increasingly in, unlikely as far as I can tell. Um, the, you know, precious metals are a little stronger. You can see gold is lifting here. Silver is, you know, testing this major trend line. So I would think that a breakout in precious metals higher would coincide with dollar weakness but we might have to wait till tomorrow to see all that. Um, the dollar yen is, uh, is weak, but we're at support. Uh, do I have the stomach to buy dollar yen at these levels? The answer to that question is I don't, <laughs> I really don't. Uh, by the way, the dollar Mexican peso, I think is hitting new lows as we speak. Looks like we are, you know, going to try to make our way down towards that 1980 level. Uh, it seems pretty likely here. Other than that, um, uh, oh, one of the things that I sold some this morning was the dollar, uh, the Euro New Zealand. If you guys are, um, you know, in the chat room, uh, I sold some overnight at uh, 172. And I still have a little bit, but it looks like we are consolidating here. The only way this is going to rally is if stocks start to come, come down. And right now it just doesn't, you know, with, with stocks as strong as they are, you can see why it's, you know, slipping a little bit. Uh, Jason says, hey, Blake, any idea what happened to the US dollar Japanese yen? Seems to do nothing for months now. You think the BOJ is involved? You know, there's been some chatter about some yen buying regard. Oh my God, the dollar Mexican peso is really coming off here. Uh, regarding some um, uh, some uh, Japanese bonds, but I, I don't know. I, I really, like I said, and and I think I've explained this to you, Jason. I really don't know what's driving the dollar yen right now. I I don't, and I don't have a good feeling. And so, if I don't know what's driving the dollar yen specifically. I will just leave it alone. And that's kind of my, my, um, my, you know, protocol right now is just leaving the dollar yen alone. Cause I just don't know what is, what's the, what's the primary driver. If I've got a good idea of what's driving it, then I'll be, I'll be more apt to trade it. But right now I just don't know. And, and, and if you look at like the daily charts, I mean, we, we're probably <laughs> getting to a point where it's going to break out soon. And whether that's a downside break or a bullish break, it's to be seen. I actually think the dollar yen is probably going to move lower with general dollar weakness. You know, if I had to pick a side, it'd be short dollar yen. But having the right price to do it, it's not here, um, at least not for me. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, you know, one one thing we should probably take a look at really fast. Let's look at stocks. Stocks continue to be holding up well. We're in a wedge and, uh, you know, we're not coming out of that wedge. We're still holding that wedge. So, you know, this is where it seems to me that uh, we would get some sort of, uh, you know, decisions going to come out of this wedge, in my opinion. And my it, my gut instinct says it's going to be higher because we're in breakout territory, right? All right, guys, uh, I'm going to let you go. I hope uh, hope you guys are just you know keeping it light, not doing a whole lot because it is it, there isn't a lot to do. You got to I think you've got to just sell rallies in the dollar if you if you see them. All right, have a great one. I'll talk to you soon. And I got a comment from. Alex, and he says, thanks, Blake. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, have a great one. Bye-bye.